This is Alin from Trimax Solutions. In this video, I will share with you the number one tech tip voted by my students from the assembly modeling class last week. It's all about selecting all instances of a given component in a complex assembly. For example, I have here two variations of the same grill. You can see different configurations. And if I want to select, let's say, all the knobs or all these braces or all the screws of a certain type, I'm going to find out that it's pretty, pretty hard. So, for example, this one is called Brace Corner. You might be familiar with filter in the Feature Manager tree. So, if I type here Brace uh, underscore C, uh, SolidWorks is able to do filtering. So, I noticed that this is all over the place. It's part of this subassembly, it's part of this subassembly, it's part of multiple, multiple subassemblies. Um, it's pretty hard to select all of them in bulk if I want to hide them, show them, create a display state maybe where only these braces are going to be uh, displayed. Fortunately, next to the advanced button, there is a drop down that allows you to use a number of advanced selections. One of the best is select identical components. So let's use the typical way to, uh, to access it first and then let's look for better ways. So if you have the patience to do several clicks like one, two, you turn on this tool and then it's enough just to select one instance of that component and it's going to select all of them. So let's try isolate now, see what happens. I notice all those braces got selected. Even more, you can create selection sets of the components that you selected. So uh, let's try again. Let's start with the knobs. But instead of doing multiple clicks, like one click and then try to find the command and do the second click, why wouldn't we assign a keyboard shortcut for that? So allow me to right click on any of the icons on the screen. That's a nice way to get to the customized uh, toolbar. Let's go to the keyboard and look for select identical. And you can see I found uh, uh, the command here. I use the C as the shortcut. Feel free to use whatever key or um, combination of keys you like. Let's see how this works. So um, let's start with, uh, with these braces. I'm going to select one. I'm going to press the C button. Notice how all of, the, that's, all of them got selected in the tree. And let's even create a selection set for these braces. Let's do the same thing for the knobs. I'm going to select one. And the command was still resident in the memory, the select identical component. All of them got selected. Again, I'm going to save another selection. Um, let's try to do the same thing with one of, the, one of these screws. So I'm selecting one. I'm going to press the C button, the C keyboard button. And uh, let's save another selection. Okay. Let's expand the selection sets. And let's rename these, uh, these selections. The first one, let's call it brace. Really hope that was actually the brace. Uh, the next one, I think it was the knobs. You can always expand to see what's in there. So let's do the same thing, rename that. And the last one, I believe there were some screws in there. So there's some pan cross head screws. Okay, so I'm just going to call them pan head screws. Of course, you, you can be more precise specifying the size or uh, the function for, uh, for those specific uh, entities. Uh, and what can you do from, from this moment on? Well, you can see I can quickly select, I can isolate, I can create a display state. All right, so let's call this knobs. So if I need to, uh, to show that on a drawing, I can. Uh, for the braces, let's do another thing. So, or um, let's say these wheels. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to press the C button. This time, I'm not going to create a selection set. I'm simply going to go to the isolate command. So you can see those wheels. But I want to place them in the context of my assembly. So I'm going to show the whole assembly as wireframe. Right? And I'm going to save this as a display state. So let's call it no, uh, wheel uh, location. Click OK, exit isolate, and now you have a display state with the wheel locations highlighted. So long story short, 
take advantage of the select identical components, try it in production, and please let us know what you think.